variety so i hope you're all doing very well and i am doing fine so today's story of course we are going straight to social media yes now i am taking you to zim i simba chikanza now uh yesterday i was on social media i came across a post that was made by olinda chapel and on this post she was talking about zimbabweans all right so this is the post i'm going to read for you she said the zimbabweans munondi shura so now you go and register a company called gain k limited yet i have had gain healthcare limited for over nine years right so um after she posted this a lot of people came to this comment section you know saying my zimbabweans in those are this is how zimbabweans are they just always plot to destroy other people and you know other people also saying that um you know they, they were mixed directions some people say no the names are different but we we sort to understand like where is this coming from who who is the person akaba zitere company yani ya olinda so we later on saw that simba chikanza then trapped down the gentleman who was actually um tagged who was actually you know uh, linked to the problem that olinda chapel posted and this is the man that simba chikanza inter interviewed and then he gave us his own side of the story among which he was saying that the names were different and also when he registered his company uh olinda was not was not using that name she had stopped using the name and so forth but let me not just put words into his mouth just listen partly we might not be able to play the whole video but just listen partly to what uh this uh, man said about the company yes all right so it, it came as a surprise to us uh, yesterday morning uh, when i received a phone call from my one of my co-directors that uh, she had received a phone call from Olinda Chapel screaming at her, saying that uh, we deliberately registered a company called Gain Care Limited uh, to prejudice her um, and maybe to benefit from, from her name, uh, which belongs to her for the past nine years, uh, mm -hmm. which we were really surprised by, by that accusation. Um, about an hour later, we started receiving calls from our staff saying, have you seen what is on Facebook? Your name is all over the Facebook. Olinda posted a post which you have just shown there saying uh, Zimbabweans Monondi Shura. So now you go and register a company called Gain K Limited. Yet I have heard Gain health limited for over nine years so the actual fact when i looked into this issue was olinda chapel registered a company in 2013 and this company was called a company was called let me have the details in front of me. The company was called Health Mark Shipping Limited, which ran on the 16th of April 2013. That name was... Right. So, so, she, so, she, so she was running a shipping company. She was running a shipping business then. And we don't know. Maybe it was a shipping business uh, as being suggested by that name. Then she changed that name on the 1st of December to Gain Health Care Limited on the 1st of December 2014, which was then changed again on the 9th of July 2018 to Care Options Plus Limited. Uh, up to the 4th of January 2019, which changed back to Gain Healthcare Limited, which is how we company is now on. We registered our company on the 5th of September 2018, when her company was known as Care Option Plus Limited. And there wasn't any company called Gain Healthcare Limited by then because it was changed to care option plus so that name was available if even if we had wanted to call our name gain healthcare limited it was available for us to use mm. but 
we went for the name Gain Care Limited for a reason. Gain Care Limited is run for them. Mm. Well, me, Gilbert, Augustine, Itai, and Eti. So mm. GAIN is our initials. So where Olinda is getting that we got that name from a company, I don't <laughs> know. I didn't even know that she exists. Oh. So as a result of that, people started commenting uh, some people even went to get our names from city that get our names from company's house and put on that chart. So this is what is happening, Simba. Uh, we were surprised and we are still surprised by the comments that are being made by some people who just joined Olinda's chat without verifying the facts. And also just the idea that people would go and say Zimbabweans, you're classifying all Zimbabweans as if every Zimbabwean is doing evil things. There are Zimbabweans who are doing very well in this country. There are Zimbabweans who are helping each other, who are working with each other. And I don't really see why would people go and say Zimbabweans. We know that in every nation or nationals, there are some bad people who does uh, bad things but it doesn't mean every british people nigerian or Ghanaian are all the same so we don't really need to classify Zimbabweans as evil people people who are there to, to do that kind of thing we should respect each other promote each other not to to, to bring each other and when you put an issue with someone, I think it's best to, to, to approach in a professional manner and verify the fact before you take an issue to social media and start attacking people the way she did to us. So these are the facts that we want. I don't know where she sorry. I just typed. Okay, guys, so this is the, the story that is going on on social media uh, about between Olinda and uh, this Mr. Gilbert Mudoti. Like you heard from him, from him he said that the, the, the word gain is actually an abbreviation of the people who started the company, including him, G for gain, uh, you know, Itai and all those kind of things, all right? So if you want to know the full story and how it ended and what is going on right now, you can go and watch the full video on ZimEye on Facebook. On, I'm not sure if they've posted it on YouTube, but I'm not sure, but you can find the full story on ZimEye on Facebook, the complete story of what is happening when it comes to, you know, Olinda Chapel and this gentleman here, you know, fighting about, you know, the name of the company. But again, the names are not really exactly the same. There are some differences in the arrangement of words there. But of course, they sound the same. They both start with gain and then they've got something, 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 something. So anyway, this is all I wanted to share with you on what is happening on the social scene. Of course, we know again what is going on with Mighty Team and every, you know, everything that is happening with her. You know, everybody wanting to know what she's up to about a relationship about you know i'm i'm from you know com seeing comments of people and seeing what is happening you you can just tell that people are just waiting for that day when you know the relationship between my tt and that guy just collapses so it seems like this is what most of us are waiting for we just want to see but maybe you know what you know sometimes god doesn't work in the way that we want him to do you know the things that we wish for other people might not even happen maybe this is the relationship that she was was set aside for her and if it doesn't work well she can always try right but anyway social media is social media i mean we already know about the zim social media it is what it is you know you meet a lot a lot of things some people advise please don't put your relationships on social media please don't do this but anyway people run their life the way they want like my said well even if i put my relationship on 
on Facebook or whatever I do with my life, I get paid for it. Facebook pays me, so it's actually content creation. So it doesn't matter how I do, what I post, and what I do. So anyway, my name is Ziki, and if you're new to the channel, please take this opportunity to subscribe instead. Of course, I'm going to talk to you again later. Now we have entered the 16 days of you know activism against gender-based violence, and we are going to be talking more about that. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you take this opportunity to subscribe and stay until then? Thank you.